You wanna know how to up the resolution and just up the user experience with your new Oculus Quest 2? Well, in this tutorial video on my VR channel, Diamond, I'm gonna show you just how to do that. And plus there's some other tips that will help out and just make the experience a lot better. So you wanna make sure you watch the whole video to understand all the different tips as they all just kinda of fall into place to have the best experience with this. And just in case you do have any questions, make sure to go write that down in the comments. You need to connect your Oculus Quest 2 to your computer with a link cable. And if you guys don't have a link cable and are wanting to purchase one, then go check out the link down below in the description as it bring you to Amazon and there's a 16 foot long cable made for the Oculus Quest 2. I just highly recommend it and it's an affiliate link. So if you guys wanna purchase a link cable and support my channel at the same time, then please click on the link. Now, the second thing you need to make this work is SideQuest, all right? This is a free software where you can side load apps, different apps and games. Uh, to your Oculus Quest 2, but you can also tweak some settings on here And that's what we're gonna be looking at in this video You want to go over to this little icon right here where it says device settings and tools So there's tons of settings here So let's start from the top the first thing you want to do is set this to 90 Hertz I just want to remind you guys that every time you click on a setting and you know You want to do that thing. So for example, if I go over here and click on 90 Hertz It says refresh rate is set to okay now, that doesn't mean that automatically does it. You're gonna have to click this button right here. Go over here and click the off button once to turn it off or to make it go in sleep mode and turn it right back on. And that would basically just implement all the settings that you just changed onto the Quest 2. Now, it doesn't work for all of them. We're gonna see right here that, for example, this one, fix foveated rendering. Actually, you have to reboot the device. You have to reset it. So what is fix foveated rendering? This will change how the view is rendered on the outer edges of the view screen for each eye. So higher is more performance, so more frame rate whereas lower is just better quality. I already did this for you guys. I tried turning it off and I you know, rebooted the whole thing. And because I can't record, I'm just gonna tell you how it was. Basically, when it was high, uh, on the highest level, I had it on the high top. It was a better performance. Maybe like when you play games, it will work better. Like it will be a lot more smooth, but you could see like some barely like faded lines just right on the outer edges. Cause basically the Quest 2 pushes all its power into like, I guess the middle section of the of the lenses or just to save some performance. Uh, whereas lower is actually a better quality. So I did try putting it lower. It was much more clear on the outer edges. Uh, but of course, if you do it on the lowest, there is a chance that if you do try playing bigger games, the performance may suffer. For these settings right here, guys, it is hard to show you guys comparisons between one and the other because you can't really record this. But soon here, I'm gonna show you guys comparisons with default texture size. And after that, I'm gonna share with you guys two different tips uh, to help with the clarity of the lenses. Now, since you're at it, I would, I mean, if you guys want to turn off the Guardian, I honestly don't want it. Full capture rate, if you guys record videos on here, you wanna put it to uh, on, so it would be 60 slash 72 hertz instead of 30 hertz. And since you're at it, if you are recording videos, then go ahead and press 1080p. Default texture and size. This is where you're gonna see the most difference. I'll just try this out for yourself. Uh, it's currently on default, like, you know, for you guys, but you guys can try to put it on the lowest, all right? And then, you know, you click it off and then back on and you'll see how it is on the lowest. And then try going on the highest, which is 3072, which is actually extremely high. Turn it off, turn it back on, and you'll see how much of a difference this makes. It's actually pretty, crazy now i wouldn't recommend doing this for all the games because it does use more of your battery usage so you want to watch out for that and if you do see like any uh lack in performance or anything like that like always just put it a slightly lower i heard that they recommend 2048 is probably the best for you know in general which is still really high now that is it with side quest that is the most you can get out of side quest but are there other ways you can make the experience slightly better. One tip I have for you guys is to clean those lenses, all right? You wanna use a micro glass cloth. It's, uh, they I think they also call it like microfiber or something like that. But anyway, it's basically that cloth that you would use to clean your glasses lenses. And you wanna go over here and start, you know, wiping down those lenses because you would see how, how actually it can get pretty dusty and it can get, yeah, it can get pretty dirty. And once you do that, it would look a lot more clear. Another little tip I have for you guys is try to get as close as you can to the lenses. All right, so you wanna tighten up this right here, not too much, obviously, because that then you have like, you know, the VR face. But still, you wanna try to get as close as you can. You also wanna make sure that the IPD is correct. And this is because the closer you are to the lenses, the more FOV you get, basically. The more the lenses cover your, your eyes and, you know, the more 
uh, wider the screen gets, if you know what I mean. If you guys try these different tips out and if it has helped you, well, then you know what to do. Also, please subscribe to my channel. I bring you guys a bunch of tutorial videos and that will help you out with your Oculus Quest 2 and just different other VR related stuff that will probably interest you. But other than that, click over here if you wanna see how to play Minecraft in VR. And click over here if you wanna see Population 1 Skybase with some of my friends. If you're still watching this loyal subscriber, I need you to do me a favor. For every new post, I need you guys to go over, watch the video, like it, and comment legend. But not only am I gonna heart it, I'm also gonna pin the one within the first 24 hours. So turn those notifications on now. See you guys as soon as I post.